welcome back to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. If you're new, my name is Ashley. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you my part two of my spring cleaning series. Don't worry if you missed part one, you can definitely head on over and watch it after today's video. Um, if you're new here, definitely subscribe. I have a lot more spring cleaning series coming out for you that I don't want you guys to miss. So make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell clicked and definitely hit all so you're reminded of all my videos that I post throughout the week. But now let's get straight into cleaning. Okay, and the first thing I'm gonna work on are washing the blankets, and I just wanna go ahead and get this started so it can be running while I'm working on other things. This is something you should be doing periodically. I'm good about washing all of our dog blankets, but sometimes I forget to grab the one from my office and different ones I have in bins or ottomans. So definitely pull all those out and go ahead and throw them in your washer so you can get them nice and clean. Wasn't brave enough yet just to talk to you. Smooth talker under pressure. Sweaty palms ain't making it much better. Something about you feels so special. I have to pull down my laundry detergent right now because it's leaking so I have to have it like standing upright so it's kind of a nightmare so I'm so ready to get through this tub so I can get a new container but I'm gonna set this on delicate since some of those blankets had fringe on them I don't want it to get messed up and then I'm gonna head into my kitchen so we can clean the dishwasher this is something I have not done in a really long time and so I'm just gonna grab like a glass um, bowl or cup whatever you like and pour some vinegar in there and then I'm gonna walk over to my dishwasher and all you do is open it up make sure it's empty obviously you don't want to have anything else in there and just put it on the top rack and then you're gonna run this on hot on like your longest setting now this is step one so definitely stay tuned because later on I'm gonna be showing you what step two is once this loads finished Okay, now we're gonna wash the windows. And by windows, I mean the inside because I'll be working on the outside another time. But I wanna thank eCloth for sponsoring today's video. You guys, I love my eCloth. They have been in my home for years. They were in my home before I knew YouTube and cleaning was a thing. So this company has been in my home. I love them. I love cleaning with water. This one right here is the polishing cloth. And then I have their spray bottle just full of water. There's no chemicals. There's nothing in there other than water. And all you do is spray the windows and then take that polishing rag and wipe it down. Guys, you will never have a streaks or anything like that. There's no chemicals. This is safe if you have pets or babies in your house. But the big thing you need to clean is like the inside of the window. So I can't clean this from the outside because there's a screen there. So definitely take the time at least once or twice a year to go ahead and pop those open so that you can get the inside of that clean. If you hold on just a few seconds, I'm gonna show you how I do that. I know that we just met the other night. But I can't get you off my mind. So all you do is unlock your window. I have two locks. I slide it up a little bit and then there's these two buttons on the side and you just press them inward and it just lifts right out. The bottom stays attached. You can see George right there. He loves spray bottles. Um, and all I do is spray it with water and then take the rag and wipe it down. And like I said, I can't clean this from the outside because of the screen there. So definitely make sure you're taking time to get these clean once a year. But I also want to show you that if you don't want to use the squirt bottle, there's actually a window cleaning set and there's another way you can clean so this is the window rack and all you do is wet it down and rinse it out and then you can use this to get it wet instead of the spray bottle so you can just wipe it down with the wet rag and then you use the polishing cloth to dry it super easy I'm gonna leave their link down below in my description box as well with the promo code so definitely check them out I love their products it has saved me so much money over the years when I made the switch I was using paper towels and I did not realize how much money I was spending and how fast I was going through them so when I made this switch as like a stay-at-home mom on a tight budget it saved our grocery budget a ton it is so much better on our earth we're not just throwing tons of paper towels away so I seriously seriously love eCloth so like I said their link is down below in the description box but I'm gonna finish up by cleaning these windows I will 
definitely be cleaning the outside of the windows, but not today. I'm going to be doing a spray cleaning on my front porch and back patio, so definitely make sure you're subscribed. So I'm not going to work on that today. I'm going to save that for all when I'm outside. Plus today it was still a little bit chilly and a little bit rainy, so I was trying to just get everything done on the inside that I hadn't done in part one. Um, and this window was a big one. The dogs like to look out. We always have our windows open, so I love for them to be nice and clear. And with these rags and water, I never have any streaks or smudges, so I'm super happy with these products. But once I'm done with this, I'm going to go back into my kitchen. This set also works great for stainless steel. So with these rags, I just try to fold them a different way. I try to find the new like clean side or dry side because you want this to kind of be dry. You don't want it super wet so that it can get all those smudges off. And so I just fold it and then spray and I start wiping it down. So it's just so easy to grab and go. All you do is grab your little water bottle and fill it with water and then it can just stay underneath your sink with the rag on top of it and then you can just go from space to space cleaning. Now I'm going to head on over to my dishwasher and wipe this down. I feel like my refrigerator gets so much dirtier than my dishwasher, but I do like to wipe it down occasionally. My stainless steel I do wipe down often, but sometimes it's just so easy to do when you already have the supplies out, so I wanted to wipe down some of the areas that I kind of miss sometimes. Um, I'm good about wiping the top of the stove, but I'm bad about going down like around the drawer and stuff. So definitely spring cleaning for me is just trying to focus on areas that I don't do during my weekly cleaning or daily cleaning. Now I'm going to clean under my stove and oh my gosh, get ready for this clip. It <laughs> was disgusting. Look at that. OMG, I'm so sorry for this, but we're gonna get it nice and clean. So I'm gonna start off by going to my laundry room and grabbing my vacuum, because I wanna suck up as much as I can so I don't have to worry about touching it. Okay, once I got as much as I could with my big vacuum, I grabbed the smaller attachment so I could get back in like those smaller creases. I definitely need to do this more often, but I'm so glad I did it for spring cleaning. The drawer slides out so easy. I felt like I just did this not too long ago, like not on camera, but it had clearly been over a year. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take that spray bottle, just like so, and I'm gonna spray it on my hardwood floors that are back there and just clean it up. This space did not take any time at all. It just needed to be taken care of, so I'm glad I went ahead and took the time to do that. Um, once I'm done with this space, I'm going to go ahead and grab a new rug. Clearly, it's going to be super dirty, but when you're just cleaning like normal clean spaces, you can just keep refolding it and getting a fresh start, but look how much better this turned out. I'm so glad I got it clean. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put the drawer back in so that's done and then we're gonna head on over to the refrigerator and I'm gonna clean the top of it. It's like out of sight, out of mind for me. I can't see it up there so I always forget to clean it. The camera was not doing it justice. I don't think you could see how disgusting it was. It must have been like the gray tint or it was dark up there but I'm just gonna go ahead and spray it with the water and then I have that same polishing cloth um, but now it's in blue. I have many, many versions of these. I have all different colors. Um, they're great for your car windows. They're great just for so many spaces. I keep them in every bathroom just so I have one everywhere, but two seconds. It looked so much better and shiny. Now we're going to clean the lampshades. This is something I always forget to do, or I just do it with a rag when I'm like dry dusting, but it doesn't really do much. If you'll pick up a lint roller, Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, this one's Ikea, wherever, that will really help because it's sticky and all the dust will stick to it. So this is a much better way to do it. During the rest of the year, I will just kind of hit it with a rag, but once or twice a year, I try to do it with a lint roller. So now I'm just going to go from room to room, um, just dusting all the lampshades.
on to the next thing, which is clean behind the doors. Mine get so dusty and I always forget to dust them. We don't shut our doors much, or if we do, we're not in that room. So I forget how dusty they get. I'm just gonna grab my e-cloth rag and it's like a duster. I love this thing for dusting. It's like somewhat like magnetic. So the dust just wants to stick to it. And then I'm gonna spray my door down once I have all that loose dust off just with the water. And then I'm gonna use my e-cloth and this is just a general purpose rag. I have a ton of these. They're so nice to clean with. Since I don't need this door to be like streak free, it's not gonna smudge or anything. I just use a normal rag. So this is what I use to clean it. So now I'm just using water and that rag to get it nice and clean so there's no dirt or anything like that. So I'm just gonna go from space to space. I can hold all those items in my hand and just quickly clean. I just dust it off with the duster spray it with water and then wipe it down with the general purpose rag. It's super easy and my doors look so much better now. So like I mentioned before, don't forget, I have the link down below in my description box. If you like any of these products, definitely check them out. When I first purchased, I bought the cleaning set um, just so I got all the different rags at one time. And I'm telling you, it has saved me so much money. Or if you just wanna buy individual rags, you can do that as well. Just whatever is best for your budget. Now we're going to dust the blinds. This is something I dread doing and it's not hard, so I don't know why I always put it off, but I'm gonna go ahead and start in my kitchen. So in my living room space, I don't have a lot. It's mainly just this kitchen window over by my dining room. Um, I don't have any and then my front ones are like bamboo and they don't really get dusty and they're not like blinds. But all I'm doing is taking that e-cloth duster and dusting them off. Mine don't get dirty. So just doing this, they're nice and shiny. Now, if yours get dirty for some reason, maybe if you cook more <laughs> and stuff slaughter on them, you could also just take your spray bottle and that general purpose cloth and wipe them down after dry dusting, just like we did the doors. But I didn't need to do that in any of my spaces. So now I'm gonna head into my bedroom. You can see I have all my bedding off. Savannah's been sick, so I'm gonna mean just it another deep clean because she's been spending the night with with us but I'm gonna take off my curtains and I'll mess with those later but it's just easier to dust my blinds if I get those taken off and I knew I'd be washing those later on in the day I honestly only dust these blinds maybe once or twice a year. I feel like they're so hard to get to. So it's easier when I'm taking the curtains off and then I have to like kind of move my nightstand to get back there behind it. I should really do it more since we sleep so close to those. I've just got to get better, but it always feels so much better when these are done and we sleep so much better that night. So I definitely just need to add this to more of like a weekly or monthly routine and not just a spring cleaning, but it gets done at least. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this side and then I'm gonna head on over to the other side. Another thing I wanted to point out was the curtain rod that mine was so dusty. So most rods are like silver or white and you don't notice how dusty they get, but these are black and so you could really see the dust on them. It was horrible. So if you haven't dusted your curtain or rods in a while, this is your reminder, go do it today. Even if you don't take it off, just grab like a long duster and do it, like slide your curtains back and dust it the best you can. But it was holding so much dust. I was really shocked. Forget about a curfew, cause all that is stuck in my head It's me and you, all speed and my heart is racing But I'm not sure I wanna place it, cause it only does this with you Our bodies meet, I can feel the tension Move us into the next dimension, let's just let our bodies be true Okay. 
Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and just pick up those curtains and throw them in my laundry room. I can't get them started yet because I'm still working on the load with my blanket, so I'll come back to that later. But I wanted to show you real quickly what my room looked like without bedding and curtains. I don't know, it's just like a blank slate. I thought you guys would enjoy seeing it. But then I'm gonna go back to cleaning my blinds. I wanna stay on task. And so I'm trying to work on blinds, so that's what I'm gonna stick to. We do have um, windows in our bathrooms. I mean, it's nice for natural light, but it's also just a weird place to keep a window. <laughs> so we did put blinds on both of here and in my bathroom. So I'm gonna go ahead and just dust those quickly. It takes no time, it really doesn't. I don't know why I don't do it often, but at least I can say it's done for a little while. By the time I was finished dusting all the blinds in my house, I noticed my dishwasher was done running. So I'm gonna head back in there for step two of cleaning the dishwasher. I'm just gonna pull out that cup that had all the vinegar in it and dump it out. And then I'm gonna pull out my bottom tray and put baking soda all in the bottom. So just kind of shimmy it or, you know, sprinkle it around the bottom. And then you're gonna close this up. I wanted to show you what it looks like. That's just about how much I put in. You don't need a ton, you don't need a little, just kind of go somewhere in between. And and run a quick wash on hot again so this doesn't have to be like the full long wash but that will get your dishwasher super clean so now I'm waiting for my dishwasher to run and I'm waiting to switch the laundry load so I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum my floors real fast I get this isn't like a spring cleaning task but to do all that cleaning and be done for the day and then look around and see dirty floors I just can't do it when I finish spring cleaning, I just want everything to be so clean and so sparkly. So I'm just gonna work on getting them done real quickly. So as you can tell, the boys aren't like chasing me while I vacuum. It turned out to be a gorgeous day. So they played outside a whole lot. And then when they were inside, they were super tired from playing outside. So I actually got my house so clean this day. Like it had been so long since my house had been this clean. And then Savannah's actually in her room sick. So she didn't have toys or anything out. I don't know. I just looked around at the end of the video and I thought, man, it's been so long. And don't get me wrong. I love Savannah. I love the mess. I love the boys. And their paw prints but it was just nice to have like an hour of just like a nice sparkly clean house Now we are going to mop the floors and if you've been here a little while you are probably annoyed of hearing me talk about this mop but I seriously love it and love everything about it. I'm always getting new subscribers and new friends on here and I want to share it with everybody I know because I love it so much. All you do is wet the mop head and then kind of squeeze it out. I like to leave some water in it so I can mop my entire space without having to re-wet it but you could also use your like squirt bottle as well if you wanted to do it that way. I just feel like this is the fastest way for me and then it just velcros to the handle and that is it then you just start mopping your floors they will be so shiny they will be streak free they will never be sticky again anytime I used a product they would be so sticky and they would get dirty so quickly because I think like dust and dirt was sticking to it when people would walk across my house with shoes on you could just hear it like sticking and that crunching I don't know I did not like it my floors are never that way when I'm using my e-cloth mop and water if you have babies crawling around if you have pets that lick the floor it's just such a safe way to clean and it's the best way to clean like I said my floors are the cleanest when I use this mop so I'm gonna have it linked down below too. just click on that e-cloth link down below in my description box but I can seriously not say enough good things about this mop I love it I've used it for years it's the only thing I'm gonna use unless they design something else <laughs> but I seriously love it so so much
I always get asked what types of floors you can use this on, any of them. <laughs> I've had engineered hardwood floors, that's what I have now, and I've used it for three years on these floors and have zero issues. I've used them on laminate wood floors in my old house. I've used it on tile. Um, I've used it on pill and stick tile. I had that in my last house. So seriously, I've used it on like every floor type you can imagine and I love it on all of them. So I just wanted to address that for any of you that were wondering. But then I went ahead when I was finished mopping and filmed a few shots. I just wanted you guys to see how clean my living room and like kitchen area turned out. It's been so long since my house was this clean. It was a beautiful day. I had the door open. I don't know. It was just an amazing feeling to like see all your hard work pay off but I'm not finished yet, so stay tuned because we still have some more cleaning to do in the other spaces. Okay, now it's time to wash the curtains. I've been going from room to room getting this done off camera. First, I have to go ahead and switch over the load. I have to put all those blankets I washed into the dryer, and then I'm gonna throw the gray curtains that I took um, out of my master bedroom to wash. But like I said, I've been doing space to space off camera, so every day I just grab a new pair. I've done it in my dining room, my living room, just all the bedrooms so that they get clean. It's hard to do all in one day, but I wash these on cold. I wash them on delicate so just be super careful I wouldn't use warm water um, I do like to use fabric softener just because it makes the whole room smell like fresh laundry which I love so that's how I'm gonna go ahead and get these started And now I'm just gonna grab all my clean bedding and take it to my bedroom. I know you guys have seen me do this a million times and it's spring cleaning, so I'm gonna just go ahead and do some YouTube magic and just like that, my bed's made. Seriously, why can't we do that all the time? <laughs> and then I'm gonna go ahead and switch back. There had been a little time in between this once I got my bed made and all that, so I'm gonna grab my blankets and get them folded and put them back in all the spaces that they belong. But I'm also gonna pull over my curtains. A lot of people just hang dry these. I go ahead and put them in my dryer on like a delicate or like, you know, super casual, no heat load for about 10 minutes just to kind of get the ball rolling on them drying. But then I'll pull them out damp and hang them. So that's why you see me throw those in the dryer, but I don't want them to shrink. So don't put them on like high heat and let them dry. But while those are running for a few minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and put all the blankets away. As you can see, the boys are back inside. George had to have a full bath because he went out and played in the mud and sprinklers and I didn't want him to get my new clean house dirty. And then I gave them each a bone just so they could relax. And after this, they crashed so hard and took a nap, but I thought it was just so sweet. They were just right there minding their own business while I folded the blankets and put them away. I also wanted to mention George is doing so well, just in case if you're curious, my front door is open and he walked out there like to my front porch and kind of like checked it out, but he didn't run off. We're trying so hard to just train him like Tiger where we can let Tiger run around when we're in the front yard and he listens and stays close. George still has a little bit of learning because if he sees a bird or a neighbor, he gets super excited and wants to visit, but for the most part, he's doing awesome. But here's how the blankets turned out. It's so nice to have them fresh and clean. It makes the space feel clean and smell clean because you can smell the laundry softener. Now I'm gonna go grab those curtains and head back into my bedroom so I can get them hung back up. Once again, this just makes the room smell clean. Even if yours aren't dirty, just the scent alone helps the space feel clean and fresh again. So I love doing this. I like to buy the curtains that have those like grommets on them. They're easier to slide on and off. So if you guys are like in the market for curtains, definitely notice that because it just makes it easier to like open and close them. Take me to your heart. 
So I'm sure someone's gonna notice, but my comforter looks different on my bed. That's actually the bottom side of it. So it's got the darker on the top and the lighter on the bottom. I just thought for today, I would change it up to see if I like it. It was kind of nice and bright and airy. I know currently I have it back on the dark side. You guys know me, I can't make up my mind, but if you're curious, at all it is not a new comforter it's just that's what the other side looks like so it's kind of nice that it's a versatile um so there's like two ways you can have the look so it was just a nice little change so as you can see i'm just hanging the curtains up on this side they are wrinkly but those will loosen up over time if it drives you crazy you can grab a steamer and just steam them out but i've learned just like with the heat of summer they will like fall on their own so i don't worry about it i did kind of want to show you how i hang my curtains though just in case you haven't heard of it first off hang them as close to the ceiling as you can it makes your space look more grand um it makes the room feel completely different so raise them up and then i put one of the grommets hooks on the other side of the hook on the wall then when you go to open and close it doesn't pull it all the way across it kind of locks it in there I don't know I learned that tip years ago and I love it so I do that on both sides of my curtain so I can open and close them but it doesn't like drag the whole curtain with me and then I'm going to show you how my room turned out because it feels so good Okay guys, that is a wrap. I'm exhausted. I've been cleaning for like two and a half or three hours. So we're gonna call it good here for part two. Part three is gonna be working on the outside of my house. I wanna work on my back patio and my front porch. My back patio is destroyed from George. So I've gotta do a really big like deep clean out there. And then I'm gonna be refreshing and redecorating both of those spaces. So definitely make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.